Bonjour everybody, this is Miss Whitley and we're going to do a bit of French this afternoon. So we're going to learn about the body parts and then we're going to play a little game. Alright, so quickly running through the different names of the body parts, I'll leave uh, the small screen at the side here so you can remind yourself on the previous slides. So first we've got la main, la main, which means hand. The next one is le nez. I don't know if you notice that I don't pronounce the Z, so repeat after me, le nez. Moving on, we have the French for mouth, which is la bouche. I really like saying that one, la bouche. And this sounds as if it's all one word, but how you say it for eyes is les yeux. So it flows into one sounding word, les yeux. For ear is a bit of a tongue twister, l'oreille. And it's a y sound where the two L's are put together, l'oreille. Then we've got a head there, la tête. Feet. Les pieds. We've not actually pronounced the D or the S at the end of there, so it is again pronounced les pieds. Then for neck, le cou. The French for tummy is le ventre. And if you look at the first uh, four letters of ventre, vent actually means wind. So I, I think that's quite appropriate for that. And then, if any of you do ballet dancing, you'll know this word. The French for arm is le bras. And you don't pronounce the S. Le bras. For leg, it's la jambe. For hair, is le cheveux. And uh, sometimes when I was learning French, or still is, are, um, if you say le cheval, it actually means horse. So don't get them mixed up. Le cheveux. And that is all the names of some of the body parts in French. So now what we're going to do is play a French game. And um, the equivalent is Simon Says. So in English, if I say... Simon says, touch your head, you would do it, wouldn't you? If I say, touch your head, then if you do touch your head, you are out because Simon hasn't said it. Now, there is a French equivalent to this game and it's called Jacques A D, which means Jack says. So if I say Jacques A D, touche, which means touch, les cheveux, then you should touch your hair. If I say touche le cheveux and you touch your hair, then you are out. All right. So let's see if we can play this game. So I'll, I'll leave these slides on the left hand side just to remind you what to do. All right. So the first one is Jacques a dit touché les yeux. So hopefully you have touched your eyes. Jacques a dit touché le nez. Hopefully you have touched your nose. Touché la bouche. Now, if you have touched your mouth, you're out because I didn't say jacardi. All right, we're going to have another go. So, jacardi, touché la tête. Hopefully, you've touched your head. The next one is touché l'oreille. If you have touched your ear, you are out because Jack didn't say to touch your ear. 
Ah! So let's have another game. Jacques a dit touche le ventre. If you have touched your stomach, yay, you've got it right. Jacques a dit touche le bras. Hopefully, you've touched your arm. Jacques a dit touche la tête. Hopefully, you've touched your head. Touche le cheveu. Ah, if you've touched your hair, you're out. Because Jack Adi didn't say it, did he? Jack didn't say. So, we're just going to have one more game. Touche le cieux. Ah, if you didn't, if you touched your eyes, you're out because Jack didn't say. So, really well done. Just a little bit of fun um, playing. Uh, Simon says, as Jacques a dit, I hope you all enjoyed it and have learned a few names of body parts in French. Anyway, à tout à l'heure. See you later and hope to catch up with you next week. Au revoir.